Hey friends, welcome to Chai Coaching. Rob here. In this video, we're going to be interviewing a student who did their master's in software engineering at International Technical University in California here in America. So grab some chai and join us. <sighs> friends, thanks so much for joining us in this video. I'm really excited. This is going to be a really fun conversation. Um, Rakesh uh, has done his master's in software engineering here in California, and he's going to tell you his whole experience, his whole story for any of you who's wanting to study that. And a really unique university here in America as well that has lots of international students. So Rakesh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey friends, I'm Rakesh Ramakrishnan. I did my master's in software engineering at ITU in Santa Clara. And currently I'm working as a developer in SAP. Awesome. So that's me. Great, and we're gonna be doing a separate video. Um, Rakesh is gonna talk about working at SAP in his professional career, so be sure to check that out. We're gonna have links for you guys on that. Um, but Rakesh, what does ITU stand for? So ITU is International Technological University. Awesome, and you told me on our phone conversation before that there's quite a bit of international students, right? Yes, so most of the students from ITU are from all around the world and they come here to get their uh, master's degree mostly in uh, technical field so yeah awesome now tell us you know let's go back a little bit just your your journey you know you wanted to come study here in america for higher studies what made you choose software engineering and what made you choose itu so when i did my bachelor's in uh, computer science engineering so it was kind of my goal to do a master's so uh, when I was uh, choosing my universities, I was, uh, my uh, first choice was US and my second choice was Canada. So, and I applied for uh, six universities and I got two admits and out of which uh, there was one in New York and uh, one in California, which is IT. So I thought um, uh, as far as the weather goes, and uh, the location goes, I feel California is a much better place for me to do my master's. So that's why I chose California. And, yeah, uh, I'm a little biased So too. the reason why... <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why I chose ITU is like, when I went to their uh, uh, website and when I was going through the curriculum that they were giving, so the one thing that uh, picked my interest is they revamp their curriculum every three years. So whatever the syllabus that they had or the curricula that they had three years back is not repeated. And moreover, the year 2018 was the year they revamped their curriculum. So whatever they had in the syllabus at that point of time was completely new. So I thought that would be a, a you know, like a, a better way for me to do my uh, master's degree rather than going with the university with an old curriculum following on so that I can have hands-on experience as well as, you know, like uh, uh, the niche technology in yeah. my curriculum. Was there any specific subject or course that stood out to you that was really interesting for you? During my first trimester, I took big data. So when I was uh, going through the uh, professor who takes the big data, so he, his name was Dashi Ren. And I felt like uh, doing big data under his uh, guidance would be, uh, um, I mean, like, it would be a good uh, arsenal for me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I thought, okay, uh, let's do big data at first. Now you mentioned trimesters. You know, most colleges mm -hmm. here have a semester system fall and spring. Tell us about the mm -hmm. trimester system and what that was like. And you only did a year and a half program. So share about that. So IT follows a trimester system. So which is kind of unique compared to other universities where they follow the semester based system. And I'm from the university during my undergrad, I followed semester system as well. So for me, it was kind of new. And our trimester is basically four months. Uh, the first trimester being in uh, fall, and then we have the spring and then the summer. So a particular degree, so let's say my degree, master's in software engineering, I completed it in four trimesters. So I took um, the, so each trimester I can take up to four courses and a minimum of three courses. So I took four courses for each of the trimester and I was able to finish it in four trimesters. So it was kind of cool and different compared to other universities. Yeah, unique experience. Um, yeah. Rakesh, what kind of profile does somebody need to be able to get maybe an admit at ITU? The prerequisite for getting an admit in ITU is TOEFL. So, so you have to have a TOEFL score uh, about 86 to get an admit into ITU. Uh, 
um but one good thing about itu is they don't uh, competitively admit based on gre so uh, people who have uh, a lower gre score they should be able to apply to itu and, and should have a um, you know like good stand in for an admission so other than that uh, they don't have any prerequisites for an admission so say someone is considering software engineering what are maybe some of the mm-hmm. biggest pros and cons of uh, ITU that you would give for students who are maybe considering studying there as far as the pros goes uh, i would say that uh, students who study at ITU get a hands on experience mm, when i say hands on experience that it means that they get to do stuff rather than just learn about it so for me when i uh, started my uh, software engineering uh, degree uh, in my undergrad it it was all about uh, book knowledge so we'll have a book the professor will go through the lessons and we'll write exams about it the semester is over and the next semester comes up but in iq it's more like um, you have you you don't, you don't have a book you follow the professor's uh, guidelines so he recommends certain books by certain author, authors so you go with them you learn about them and then it is like we have testing methodology in two ways one is written test which is unavoidable of course mm-hmm. and the other one is based on project so for every course that you take in a trimester you will have to come up with a project so it can be you can implement whatever you learn in that particular course into that project and come up with it sometimes a uh, few professors want want you to do like two projects in a particular trimester so it would seem like kind of hard to do two projects in uh, for one course in one trimester but when you're actually done with those projects it feels like you learned more about the subject rather if you have just learned learn through a book so those are some of the pros and the other one i would like to mention is like the professors at itu are like the best so one professor that i would like to mention is uh, my computer algorithms professor uh, his name is richard san he is like uh, his the way of his teaching is uh, like i felt it's uh, it was um, pretty good but at the same time he's kind of tough so mm-hmm. you have to learn a lot to you know like um, get good grades in his class the cons i would say are basically the cons of california rather than the university because california you have uh, the cost of living is kind of high so you have to come prepared to um, catch up on the cost of living but other than that i feel like uh, the place the university the curriculum is all kind of pretty good what kind of rent are students on average or what's kind of a range of rent that people have to pay for living there so since uh, my university is in santa clara and there are other universities around the area like san jose state university and santa clara university the rent is kind of okay because mo- most of the time you will be staying with students so you might have to, you might be end up paying around like um, $800 per month uh, in a shared uh, bedroom so that's about it mm-hmm. but still comparatively it's kind of high right yeah for us that's pretty high especially for student budget yeah. before we share a little more information our chai question for this video is are any of you guys considering a master's degree in software engineering so let us know in the comments uh, rakesh is sharing about his software engineering degree experience and uh, we want to know if you guys are considering that as well maybe we can connect with some other people so if you're going to If you're currently or are planning to study software engineering, let us know in the comments. Um, Rakesh, any tips that you'd want to give to someone who's considering studying software engineering here in America? So the first tip that I would uh, give for a person uh, planning to study in the uh, uh, US is be prepared. So most of the time, there are lots of uh, people out there who are uh, there to scam you. So you can do your work from base up so be prepared research and make sure the university that you are selecting is uh, accredited because accreditation is the one most important thing that you have to look for when you are choosing an university not in us but anywhere in the world so make sure they are accredited and make sure you have everything that you need for a international travel so you don't have to get those sweaters and you don't have to get those uh woolen things uh, that's not required because uh those things you can come here and get it but when i say the things you need is uh things like to cook you might need a pan and all that so those things because most of the time people who come to us 
uh, they, what they go through is a culture shock. So you get all the stuff out here. So and especially if it's in California, like you don't have to worry about no matter where you're from, you should get all the stuff that you get in your country here. So you just have to know where to get it. Mm-hmm. So and one most important thing is like after you come here, make sure you network and get to know a lot of people because here networking is one big thing that you might have to do. Yeah, if you've seen any of the other Chinese coaching videos, you'll know that I talk about how networking is the way to get jobs here in America. And going yes. to a college near the Bay Area is a great advantage for doing that if you're in the tech industry, software, all that kind of stuff. That so true. that's that's a cool advantage of ITU being so close to the Bay Area. Rakesh, this has been awesome. I've learned a lot. Uh, if this has been helpful, we we'll give a big thumbs up to say thanks to Rakesh and him talking about his journey doing his master's in software engineering at ITU. Um, yeah, it was, it was fun learning about another university that I've never really experienced before. Uh, Rakesh's contact info will be in the description if you guys want to have any more questions for him. Um, he's definitely happy to help or connect you guys with other people. And thanks so much for joining us. We want to see you guys succeed on your journeys studying here in America. And thanks, Rakesh, again. And we'll see you guys next time at Chine Coaching. Cheers. Thanks, Rob. Cheers.